guys, it's Melanie. Happy Friday. Welcome to the end of another week. Um, you guys are getting naked face Melanie today because I actually have a wedding on Friday today. I'm recording this on Thursday. YouTube secret. Um, so yeah, I, I'm prepping flowers all day. <laughs> so I didn't bother with any of this. So hopefully you don't mind. But I definitely did dull myself up during the earlier part of the week. So um, I have some favorites to share with you guys. And then at the end, I also have a, yeah, not a total fail, but not a total win kind of product. So I'm going to dive right in. First is my home fragrance pick of the week, and it's Pumpkin Coconut from Bath & Body Works. Okay, they re this is last year's. They re-released it this year. I bought one in store to be able to review for this year to like compare the burn and stuff, um, or the overall fragrance to see if they tweaked it. And I realized how much I love this scent this week. I've been burning it downstairs. This is one of my backups here. And I just, I love this. It is like, it's basically just a bakery candle with a hint of coconut, if that makes sense. And then a slight hint of false spices. That's basically what it is. But it's not available on the website anymore, and I don't know why. I'm hoping they are just busy making more. <laughs> or I'm hoping that I can find it in store at the next two for 24 or whatever, because I, I would like some more now that I realize how much I love it. And God, I just, I hope I can find it again. If you can find this in your store, um, cause it's not online right now. Um, definitely grab one. This is a really amazing scent for fall. Doesn't, I mean, there's no real pumpkin in it. It's basically just a true like bakery cake type note with a hint of coconut and a hint of like false spices. So like a little bit of sugar, a little bit of cinnamon, nutmeg kind of, but like in the very background, it's, just smells amazing. It smells like you're baking something. I also have a fragrance pick for you guys. I've been trying to use this for the last couple weeks because I'm trying to finish it. It's hard to finish a perfume, especially one as strong as M by Mariah Carey, which is what this is. I don't even know if they make this anymore. Um, it smells really good, but it's a heavy fragrance. It's very like oriental spicy. It's, it's very pretty. I do not like the bottle. I never really have, but the fragrance itself is amazing. So M by Mariah Carey, who knew? Um, I'll see if I can still find this like on the internet somewhere. I'm sure it's sold somewhere. I think I've seen it at TJ Maxx and Marshall's before, at least her pink one. Sorry, I, I'm having an eyelash issue, but anyway, I really have been loving this this week. It's a really nice, heavy fall type fragrance. So Love that. A uh, couple of body care products before we get into the makeup. The Lalicious Coconut, sorry, Sugar Coconut Extraordinary Whipped Sugar Scrub. So this was just a little sample size that Lalicious sent me when they sent me the oil to review. And um, man, this smells good. <laughs> this is like a true beachy coconut, like suntan lotion type of scent. Not the suntan lotion where you get like pineapple mixed in there. Oh, pina colada smell makes me like vomit. Um, I love pina coladas though. Uh, but this smells amazing. It's a true beachy coconut scent. And this scrub is so nice, you guys. It's basically just a sugar scrub suspended in some like oils. Um, it's incredibly hydrating. It's exfoliating. This is a fabulous scrub and the smell sort of sticks with you afterwards. I really like this and I'm gonna buy a full size of it when I run out of this guy. Well, let's be realistic. I have two tree hut scrubs that I need to finish up first, but as soon as I finish those, I'm gonna purchase this because I really like the way this makes my skin feel. The tree hut scrubs are exfoliating, but not hydrating. This is exfoliating and hydrating without being overly oily and greasy, if that makes sense, because I don't like that either. Um, this is wonderful, you guys. My friend Susan said they sell Lalicious on Derm Store, so I will link it on Derm Store down below for you. And they often have 20% off coupons, so that might be worth checking out because this isn't this isn't a drugstore brand, so I, I don't know this how much the full size costs. Sorry. <laughs> but um, I think it's probably somewhere in the $25 to $30 range, but worth every penny. 
And then also the oil. I did an in-depth review of this. If you guys missed the in-depth review, I will link it down below. This, the main ingredients in this are coconut and marula oil. And I love this on my skin. Mine is actually really thick right now because it's colder. And because it has the coconut oil, it will set up. But you basically, you can use it in its more solid format if you can get it. This is disgusting. But um, if you can get it out of there like that, you can use it like that and warm it up on your skin and it melts. Or just run it under hot water for a minute. This is a beautiful oil you guys I'm not going to talk too much about it here because I did the review so go check out the review but I've been loving this on my legs post shave it's amazing okay uh let's talk some makeup stuff my blush for this week has been the Lorac baked matte satin in velvet rope I showed this in my top five fall blushes video I will I will link all of my videos from earlier in the week down below but this is one of the blushes in there and I just, I can't stop using it now that I started using it again. It's beautiful for the fall time, you guys. I think this is available at Beautylish. Um, I have seen these at Houtlook, Houtlook for a discounted price before, but um, I, I haven't looked at Houtlook in like years. <laughs> Um, but people have told me that they are there from time to time, so it might be worth keeping an eye out there. But if you do want to actually purchase this, I think Beautylish is where you'll be able to find it now. It's so pretty. I don't think these are sold in Ulta anymore. I don't think so, but that's stunning. Um, the Becca Pressed, I always screw this up, Shimmering Skin Perfector Pressed in Opal. I've been back to using this because it's so pretty, you guys. I don't know what it is about this particular shade. I love this as much as I love Moonstone at this point. I have a full size of the Moonstone, but I think I might actually like this one just a little bit better, if not equally, like as much as Moonstone at this point. This is so pretty. I highlight the bridge of my nose and then my Cupid's bow. I know some people don't like the Cupid's bow because they say it makes you look like you have a sweaty upper lip. I try to be really careful to not overdo it there, but I do find that it gives me like a plumper lip look. I also use this as an eyeshadow on my lids, and it's so pretty, you guys. I will see if I can find like a set where there's like a little variety pack where you can get a small size of this, because I think the small size is like more than enough. I wish that they would actually sell these smaller sizes, because I think this makes a little bit more sense in terms of appropriate sizing for a highlighter for like an average person. I know most people on YouTube are like rubbing this directly on their face um, and go through it like crazy. I don't. I That doesn't look good on me so I wouldn't do that but um, I think this is a really great size and if you can try, try some other Becca products in addition to this I think that's a good way to go about trying this. You get what I'm trying to say. I'll link this individually and I'll see if I can find a cute little set for you guys. What am I saying? I don't know. I have three lip products to share with you guys because I am into my mauvey plums. If you watch the fall lipstick video, these were all, well, no, the sake wasn't, but the Anita from um, NARS Audacious was in there. I love this. I love the opacity of these and the creaminess. Man, do these stick around all day. They're a beautiful lipstick formula. This is going to be on my VIB recommendations list for you guys. Any, any, pick a color. Find the color that you like, but the formula. I love the formula of these. And then good old-fashioned Dolly, which by the way, I need to get another one of because you can see that I'm basically out of this one. I usually go through one of these a year because it's my favorite shade. So what I have on my lips right now, I can just slap it on and it makes me feel pretty. And I love that it has just the hint of shimmer and I love the color and the minty feel. These do not plump my lips, but they feel really good and not drying. Um, you know, some lip plumpers can leave your lips feeling a little bit dry in the long run, but this one never has. And I just, I just adore this color more than anything. And then the last lipstick I want to share with you guys is Sake from Bite Beauty, the new Amuse Bouche lipsticks. This color for fall is stunning. I've worn this several times this week. I tend to reapply lipstick throughout the day quite a bit. I'm at home and I just, you know, I just come up here and we'll 
slap on a different color. And this one is one where every time I've looked in the mirror, I've thought this is just the perfect fall color on me because it's darker, it's richer, it's the tone that I love, but it's just like a darker version of what I normally feel comfortable with. But I still feel comfortable with it because it's that mauvey plum, which just looks so flattering on my skin tone. So love that. Um, and then the I, the blush palette that I reviewed on Monday, I have to say I'm also going to mention it here because I think it's a good palette. In my review, I said these are not the same formulation as the regular Tarte 24-hour Amazonian clay blushes. They're not. Um, but they're very good for the price that you're paying. Um, I would say these are definitely a little bit better than drugstore quality, but they are not typical high-end blush quality, if that makes sense. But you're getting 10 shades for $44. I think it's a really nice gift, you guys. It is one that I would recommend, and I have been enjoying it. A little bit this week the um, color that I tend to gravitate towards the most are the ironic and montage right here so these two I wore those a couple times this week when I wasn't wearing this guy um, and I just I, I do really like those two shades but I think overall this is a good palette and if you didn't catch my review of it I'll link it down below but I know a lot of you guys were curious about it when I posted it on Instagram so if you missed it, it's down below if you want swatches and stuff. But I, I do think it's a good palette for what it is, if that makes sense. Lastly, uh, the Schmitz Natural Deodorant in Lavender and Sage. Okay, I've been on a journey to try to find a natural deodorant that would work for me. This is the one that has so far worked the best. Um... This has no aluminum, no propylene glycol, and no artificial fragrance. However, it's, it's got a fragrance. This is the Lavender and Sage, like I said. It is a strong lavender, and you will smell this. You probably want to be sure that you want to smell like a lavender bud when you're wearing this, because it's strong. It's interesting, because this is very solid, like this, like it is solid. Basically, you have to kind of warm this up on your skin before you start to apply it because otherwise you're just like scraping this along your skin and it's actually kind of scratchy because this has uh, arrowroot powder in it. And I think it's the arrowroot powder that's a little bit like scratchy at first. Once you get the product melted, it's fine. By the way, this is a cruelty free brand. Um, once you start to like warm it up on your skin, it's fine. It's not as scratchy, but if you just go to like rub it on, that's that's probably not going to work for you, especially if you just shave your arms. You're going to be like, oh, ow. <laughs> but I really like the ingredients in this. It's got coconut oil. Um, it's got shea butter in it. So it's really hydrating. It's got jojoba seed oil, lavender essential oil, um, clary sage oil, vitamin E. It's incredibly hydrating to your underarms, and it works good for me now that the weather is not as hot and um, I can wear this during the day. This does not work for me at the gym. I still have to wear a deodorant antiperspirant when I go to the gym because I don't consider myself a very stinky person, but for some reason, like, natural deodorants just cannot fight that odor. And if I can smell myself, I'm pretty sure other people can smell me. And I just, I don't want other people to smell my BO <laughs> at the gym. I smell other people's BO all the time. And I'm just like, God, can you do something about that? Like, I realize not everyone is into like deodorant and antiperspirant. But it's really hard when you're like trying to like work through your set and there is someone with just the worst body odor ever it can make you a little bit nauseous and I'm sure I'm gonna get people who are like it's natural I know I'm well aware but these people are like doing nothing to try to even like cover that up I don't know I just think it's polite I guess that's it's my own personal thing I think it's polite to wear at least some deodorant um 
Because I just, I don't like smelling other people's video. And I don't want them smelling mine. So this does not work for the gym, but it works for every day. Like when I'm just running around with Stella, dropping her off at school, running my errands, it's great for that. So I'll wear this during the day, but I still have to put on an, a more traditional antiperspirant deodorant for when I go to the gym. So, but it's nice to be able to wear something different during the day that isn't quite as toxic, if you will. So anyway, if you've never tried this, um, they have a website, so I will I will link this down below. I got mine at Marshalls, though. It was like $3.99 at Marshalls, but I haven't seen it since I picked this one up. So, And they are um, vegan, actually, so there you go. <laughs> it's, it's the best I've found so far, guys, honestly. It's the, the very best natural deodorant that I have tried so far, and so I just thought I would share it with, with all of you. There you have it. All right. Thank you guys so much. I have to go get to work now. Um, I hope you all have a really great weekend and I will see you. I have so many videos coming up, you guys. Like I've been uploading like seven days a week because I just have so much stuff to get out. So there are going to be a couple videos this weekend as well, I believe. I think. I think so. Um, so yeah, whatever you watch. Thank you for watching. <laughs> I appreciate all of you guys. Have a great weekend. I'll see you soon. Take care.